everybody. Welcome to today's teens message. Let's get started with a prayer. Lord God, I just thank you so much for this time and space where we can come and listen to your message today, Lord. Lord, I pray that you be with each and every single person who's watching this, Lord. Lord, I pray that you just fill them with your Holy Spirit and just work through me in this time. I pray this all in your precious Son, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So first question for today. Who knows you the best? Is it your mom? Is it your dad? Is it your friend? Is it your sister? And why and what stops other people from knowing that those things about you? Maybe you don't trust them. Maybe you feel like you need to know people more in order to like open up to them and let them know the real you. And have you ever created, drawn or painted something that has a special meaning or that you had to explain to someone? So today I have a painting that I painted, I don't know how well you guys can see it. So I painted this in 2018, right? It was at a paint class. And um, I actually painted this before I started dating Fernando. And I remember I intentionally did that and I was like, one day that's going to be Fernando and me. So yeah. But if you, <laughs> if you were to see it, you know, you might be like, oh wow, that's amazing. But if you had to look at it closer or, you know, if you had to ask me to tell you about it, you can I, I, like you can I can tell you things that you wouldn't necessarily be able to see by just glancing at it. Like over here, I made a mistake, and so I had to like extend the jellyfish. So if you wonder what these are, they're jellyfish under the sea. You know, there's the water, but the the air bubbles. Um, so essentially, I'm the only person who can actually tell you the most about this painting because I created it. So like even over here, like all the, the grass and how like I struggled with like the blending and stuff. But like you wouldn't be able to notice that until I told you that. Yeah, and how like I little messed up there a little bit, but I still love this painting. You can see, cool. So this leads us to our Bible reading, which comes from one Jeremiah, no Jeremiah chapter one verse four to eight, and it reads, "The call of Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me saying." Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. You, mm, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Ah, oh, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am only a child. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am only a child. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. And then in verse 9 it says, then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So in our Bible reading, God appoints Jeremiah as a prophet. Now, it's estimated that at this time when God was speaking to Jeremiah, that he must be around 17 to like early 20s. So people at that time, they weren't really regarded as high. So if someone at that age had to come and speak to people and tell them, you know, repent, Turn back to God, they kind of laugh at him and be like, what are you saying? So, God appoints Jeremiah as a prophet over the nations, which means that he has a task to do, but he is afraid. You know, he's scared, he doesn't really want to do it, he comes up with excuses. For a moment, he lets his fear get the better of him, and thinks that this will disqualify him from what God has told him to do. But rather, God calms his fears and equips him for the task. So, have you ever heard of the saying, God equips the called? Now that got me through the beginning part of my ministry because I didn't know what I was doing. I was in Holy Spirit then. I was like, Lord, you need to help me. I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, God definitely called me and he equipped me along the way. He wasn't just like, you're going to do this. Good luck. I'm out. He was there with me through every part of the way of the journey. So God also knew Jeremiah before he was made. Like, God knew Jeremiah. God knew what Jeremiah was going to say. God knew Jeremiah's struggles, his fears, what made him happy, what tempted him. And that just shows you that even though Je God knew Jeremiah then, God also knows us. Okay. And God has also set us apart as Christians, just as he set Jeremiah apart. So we may not be called prophets, but God also gives us things to do. So yeah, he told Jeremiah he's going to become a prophet. So God has also told us that we also actually have a task. Do you perhaps know what God has told you that you need to do? Can you think of any examples? Maybe God wants you to tell someone about Jesus. Befriend that person who has no friends at school 
or to start reading your Bible. Maybe God has planted something bigger in your heart. If you are unsure about it, pray about it because God has planned something for you to do. And God knows your fears. God knows the excuses you are going to make when you, when you don't want to do what God wants you to do. And sometimes we get scared or afraid because sometimes what God has told us to do seems too much for us to handle. But just as God is with Jeremiah, was with Jeremiah in that time, God is also with us. And God knows you. God knows your heart. God knows the thoughts that run through your brain when things become too hard or overwhelming for you to do. God is always with you. So our memory verse for today comes from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 8. And it reads, Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. So what are you afraid to do that you know that God wants you to do? Pray to God and ask him to help you, because he will definitely be there with you. If God has told you to do something, he will be with you. Let us pray. Father God, Lord, I just thank you so much for always being with us, Lord. Lord, I just thank you that you never leave us. And Lord, when you have called us to do something, that you equip us as well, Lord. You don't just let us make a mess of things, Lord. Lord, I pray that you just help each and every single one of us to know what you want us to do, Lord. Lord, whether it's a big thing or things that just happen daily, like helping people or becoming friends with people who don't have friends, just being nice to that person who no one is nice to, Lord. Lord, I pray that you just continue to flush with your Holy Spirit and just remind us of your presence that's always around us, Lord. Lord, I thank you so much for loving us. I thank you for your son. And Lord, I just pray for this upcoming week, Lord, for all those projects and tests that we may have due, Lord. Please be with us in them. Give us motivation to finish them and to do them well, Lord. Lord, I pray that you continue to protect us, guard us, and guide us, and just just tell us what we need to do and be with us in it, Lord. I pray this all in your precious Son, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Awesome. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome week and hope to see you at church next week. Bye, guys.